dive into the world of innovation with us as we unravel the challenges, breakthroughs, and latest trends that are shaping our digital landscape. This is Tech Unmuted, your guide to the tech revolution. Welcome to an exciting episode of Tech Unmuted. So tonight we're going to take a look at using ChatGPT right. to predict the college basketball outcomes that just got released tonight. It's Sunday night about 7.30. Finally got a PDF we could load into ChatGPT. We actually ran it already. So we're going to yes. show the results of it on the screen. And we did our best to sort of double check that it actually ran through it the way it should run through. I do want to hit something before we dive into this, which is the information and prediction shared are for entertainment and educational purposes only and are not intended for betting advice or guaranteed outcomes. Our discussions, right. including the use of team names or trademarks, are for descriptive purposes only without any endorsement or affiliation. The hosts, producers, and affiliates of this podcast bear no liability for decisions made based on our content. Uh, we encourage you to be responsible in your consumption of this material, acknowledging that any action taken by our listeners are at their own risk. If right. gambling becomes a concern, seek help promptly. Yes, in other words, this is for fun, all right? <laughs> We've done this before. What we're really trying to do here is we want to put artificial intelligence to the test. And yep. what we want to see is we want to see how well artificial intelligence can analyze all right nobody wants data. to hear that anymore they just want to see the answers <laughs> all right let's do it so, so walk us through how we got to this right because it was yes so how i got this the paid version of chat gpt it's gpt4 i loaded in a bracket that came from cbs sports's website it's a pdf right. it's actually important to do a pdf and not an image uh we tried an image and it had a hard time figuring out what was what right. was on the uh, actual image. There's a couple things. I'm not going to read the entire prompt, but I pointed out that there were playing games because right. in the first go round, it didn't figure that out. I pointed out who was playing who in the, in the final game, which, which regions they came from. Cause again, first time around playing around with it, it didn't figure it out. I. Uh, and I just set it loose with the prompt. I said, look for some right. upsets, those kind of things. And I right. did specifically indicate who the play, playing games were. We're not going into a ton of detail on this, but it came back and said, hey, I can try to predict the outcomes. It's using historical data. This may not be easy or not. Here's some things you should know. There's five versus 12 uh, are common upsets as well as a four versus 13. Then it starts to drill down and do the predictions. So it did first round predictions, which is really the play in game. And we're gonna drop all of these into the uh, description. Right. So you'll get a running list of this. The commentary that's in there where it says things like this whole section up top here, we don't have enough space. There's a 5,000 character limit, so we won't yeah. drop it in. Yeah, folks just wanna know what the prediction is. And so we're gonna make sure that's available for you. So. Uh, there's your first four predictions. Now, granted, this is AI looking at what? Historical data, yep. current team performance, okay? Um, and taking all the other data available out there into account and coming with its own potential predictions. There it is. Yep. So. And it's doing, it looks at seeding and some other things. It at does. It says it said it did. Yeah. I Correct. It did identify <laughs> in a couple of places. Places potential upsets. We did spot check one of these. It was a five B to four. Not sure I'd call that an upset, but it called it an upset. It goes through then east, west, midwest, south in the first round. Very I don't nice. think there's any other upsets indicated there except for that one. Yeah. So this this bracket makes for potentially an uninteresting bracket going in. And then it goes through subsequent rounds. So it starts to look at uh, and think about what comes next, where there's potential updates, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And then it gives, again, some of the strategies for predicting uh, higher seeds generally progress, but watch out for four, five versus 12 and four versus 13. I think it said that up top. 
it did stop working after that. And it paused effectively and said, do you want to continue? And I said, keep going. Yeah. Then it goes into the round of 32. I found interesting that it just kind of like stopped. And then so you had to kind of prompt it a start up again. I just found that interesting. All right. So then it went to the next round. Round of 32. So, again, it's got a potential upset. Gonzaga versus Kansas. Mm Mm-hmm. That might be the five versus four. That is the five versus four. And then it keeps rolling through. So it gets down to sweet 16. Does each of the each of the east, the west, the midwest and south. Kept going. This took when it was running live, took five, six minutes. Again, we had we tried a couple variations on doing this and it failed a couple of times. That's why we. We weren't actually doing it live right so, on the screen. I will make I correct. It took a while to get to this. I, I will make a comment though. While you were doing this behind the scenes, I was taking screenshots of the bracket and feeding it into Copilot. And I'll just tell you that the elite eight predictions that you have here were also predicted by Copilot, meaning Yukon uh, and Houston ultimately ended up uh going so that was interesting to me and we see it gets down the final four and here's the mm-hmm. thing everybody's looking for right it's predicting right. Arizona, arizona versus, versus purdue, purdue and arizona zona is a winner by four mm-hmm. uh keep in mind this is hey you never know right but this is likely a middle of the road prediction it's it's aggregating data year after year after year and what you're going to get is probably the more generic kind of output you're going to have higher seed winning most cases. I would suspect maybe is what this did. Maybe, but but again, it was just interesting. Although although we know that Copilot uses uh, ChatGPT four right behind the scenes, it has its own parameters, and it did. I only did. I only. I was only able to finish the two two of the quadrants. I did get Houston, okay, uh, and and Yukon. So it does seem to be predicting uh the same uh so i could always go back and finish my uh copilot experiment but as far as what chat gpt produced copilot seemed to be on the same track so that was very interesting to me and Uh, i will i'll read this last paragraph because it is a little bit interesting so it is interesting this prediction model favors arizona win the national championship with a final score of 86 versus 82 for purdue this model is considered historical performance and seeds potential upsets and recent team performances to predict the outcome of each game. Remember, yes, that the that's beauty true. of March uh, basketball is its unpredictability. So while these predictions are based on patterns and data, actual results can vary significantly. And I'm sure, I'm quite sure we will see update upsets in the first round that have of not been course. predicted here. Of course, of course. And I love that ChatGPT finished with that because that has been our message every time you and I do this, right? Is like AI is going to analyze specifically what patterns and yep. data. And it's going to do it at a at, at lightning speed, right? It would take us forever to to do this. It does it rather quickly. Um and but there this is this is random data we have no idea ai can't ultimately predict but it can look at patterns and data and come up with its prediction so basically chat gpt just populated its bracket (laughs) that's what it ended up doing so all right i I hope this kind of demonstrates really what we've been saying for a while now is that ai is going to be probably one of the most useful tools and and we've been doing it for fun, right? We did the lottery a couple times. We uh, we'll do more uh, stuff like this where it challenges the AI. But what what we really want to drive home is this is not the tool of the future. This is the tool now. <laughs> we are using this right now to to do something fun, which predict uh, predict the, the the basketball bracket, but. Think about all the different applications. When you start seeing all the different ways we, George and I, start 
tinkering with AI, it should start triggering in your mind. Wow, wait a minute. If they can do this with this kind of data, what can I do with this other set of data? And so this is really what we're hoping to drive home, right? It's the, the ability to use AI to its peak performance, push it, push it as far as it'll let you push because we want to really see what it can do. Um, now, we will be, uh, I guess, uh, providing all this data, all, the, all these predictions down in the description. And also, we really, really, really want to uh, uh, see your comments so that you guys can also uh, play along with us. And we will be tracking as the games go on uh, through the comments section. Again, we're going to have fun with our audience, right? We'll be tracking to see how well ChatGPT did in their predictions. Uh, so please engage with us in the comments. Let's see what happens. We'll have a, a, a blast doing this uh, for the next uh, several weeks. Uh, but this does bring this podcast an end. And so stay tuned. We want to see your comments. Let's see who wins. And maybe if ChatGPT actually picked the ultimate winners, we can uh, we can do a recap or something. So, but until next time, folks, play responsibly. See you soon. Thanks for diving into the tech world with us today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an episode of Tech Unmuted. Stay curious. Stay connected.